Uh, Triumph Group is a uh, group of uh, 42 companies in 54 locations around the world, predominantly in the U.S., that designs, manufactures, and repairs and overhauls components for aircraft and produces assemblies and sub-assemblies for the large aircraft manufacturers. Yeah, about 43% of our business is uh, military, and about 45% of our business is uh, commercial aircraft. The balance is some in space and some in uh, business jet and regional jet. Well, right now it hasn't affected our business because we're working off a relatively large backlog in the commercial uh, aircraft business on you know, people uh, like Boeing who had strong backlog in the 737 new generation aircraft. Uh, we do business as well with uh, Airbus, et cetera. Boeing is by far our largest customer by about 23% of our business. That's both in the military and commercial end. But uh, I think that as the passenger miles and the cargo miles flown have decreased over the last uh, year to year and a half. Uh, new orders on aircraft uh, have not been coming in as fast. In addition to that, the delay of the 787, which is a very uh, dreamliner, the futuristic type aircraft, very light, much more efficient, I think will uh, has affected our business because it's now a little delayed. However, I would suggest that halfway through 2010, maybe toward early 2011, that will hold up the air, the commercial end of the business because of the uh, production of that aircraft. Uh, very much harder question to answer because the uncertainty of the defense budget and the production of certain aircraft, such as the C-17. As of a year ago, the C-17 was a plane that was disappearing, or less than a year ago, actually, it was disappearing from the you know, military budget. Uh, today, uh, India is talking about ordering 10 more, which is a year's worth of C-17. Uh, the rotorcraft business has been excellent both on a repair and overhaul basis and on a new build. Uh, many of our customers, Boeing, Sikorsky, Bell, uh, the rotorcraft business is excellent. Uh, and in the war effort, the V-22, which happens to be the largest shipset value in our business per aircraft, has been doing very, very well in production and performing very well in uh, Afghanistan and Iraq. So uh, I think the future is uh, more of our problem based on the fact on what the defense budget will be and where they'll go with all these different aircraft. Uh, over the last couple of years, it hasn't affected us in a great respect because we've gained market share. and. Uh, when we went public, for example, in 1993, 1996, the military business was 4% of our business. Now it's 43, as I said before. So our, our military has strengthened uh, immensely. So uh, it really hasn't affected us too much in the last year or so. They, they do, and that gives us an opportunity to repair and overhaul. Our primary business in the repair and overhaul is third-party components, auxiliary power units, constant speed drives, things of that nature, plus some of the products that we produce ourselves, actuation equipment, hydraulic assemblies, and the like. And that gives us the opportunity to repair and overhaul them. The uh, rotorcraft, on the other hand, um, that becomes more of an engine repair and overhaul, which we, that's the only product we don't. We don't repair and overhaul uh, main engine components. Uh, and the, the business of repairing and overhauling helicopter parts and parts of helicopters is done on site in Afghanistan, in Iraq. Uh, we think that the build rate on rotorcraft will continue to grow because a lot of those helicopters uh, won't come home. If we come, if we get out of Iraq and we get out of Afghanistan, 
that equipment will stay there and we'll have an opportunity to replace that. Generally speaking, the margins have a tendency uh, when we're doing a repair and overhaul on our own products, uh, by our own, I mean our own proprietary designs that come back into our shop for repair and overhaul. The margins have a tendency of being higher. Uh, in one of our divisions where we do repair and overhaul of third party components, defined as we repair uh, constant speed drives that are done by Sunstrand or APUs that are done by Honeywell. Since we have to buy parts from Sunstrand and Honeywell, our margins have a tendency of being lower in that business. Our, it's uh, on an overall basis, our new equipment, uh, depending on what that equipment is, because we have so many companies involved, our new equipment in the long run is probably a little higher margins. Uh, and the margins in the after a market business in our proprietary business is the, probably the highest margin of all. And the margins on the aftermarket where it's third party components is the lowest of our margins. Uh, on an overall basis, it's really not that far apart when you put the aftermarket business and the OEM business that we have based on the dynamics that I just described, you know. First of all, about 25% of our business is foreign business. That includes business we do with Bombardier in Canada. We have two plants in uh, Mexico. One we acquired, which manufactures acoustical and thermal blankets for aircraft. And another we're just building, just north of uh, Mexico City, to do first operation machining, and first operation uh, efforts for our own companies simply on the basis of low cost labor. Uh, uh, the, the pressure is always on to produce lower cost but same technological advantage and same quality and uh, the battle becomes when we do that with our customers Customers say to us, well, you built a place in Mexico for low cost labor, that means you can drop your price. And our answer to that is you didn't, you didn't invest the $25 million, we did. So it sometimes goes over well, sometimes it doesn't. But, uh, but we're operating in Mexico. We built a plant in Thailand specifically to service the Asian market on the repair and overhaul market of nacelles, thrust reversers, and APUs. Uh, and we have acquired uh, one to five companies in Europe, uh, all in Western Europe. Um, we have one in Eastern Europe, uh, which is, again is a low cost uh, production area. Uh, but primarily we're in the U.S. All but those locations I just mentioned are in the U.S.